Hi, we'd like to talk to you about V838 Mon. It's one of the most beautiful objects in the sky, but it's also fairly new, so most people don't know much about it. That's V838 Mon as imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope. It's a star surrounded by shells of dust. That shell is actually moving very fast, and in a bit we'll prove it to you. That was V838 Mon prior to 2002. It was a minor speck on the sky, boring and not even worth a real name. Astronomers called it either GSC 04822-00039 or USNO A2.0 0825-03833116. Take your pick. But on January 6, 2002, an amateur astronomer noticed that it became very bright. He reported it as a nova, which is cool, but not really all that rare. But about a month later, it became even brighter. This second outburst is very rare indeed. Astronomers have only seen this happen a few other times in all our history of looking at the stars. This graph is called a light curve. Up is bright, down is faint. You can see how it started to fade, like all good novae do, then suddenly decided to go nuts. So, some astronomers at the U.S. Naval Observatory decided to take a closer look using this telescope. They saw this. That fuzziness is called a light echo, and it's very rare. So the Hubble Space Telescope decided to take a picture, and they saw this. Astronomers were shocked at the detail they could see. No other novae have revealed so much before. About a year later, they took another picture. Then a year later, another, and another one after that. The time-lapse images from HST show that the light echo is moving quite rapidly. Usually, astronomical time is slower than pretty much anything else in the universe, except for maybe a child waiting for Christmas morning. But the fact that astronomers get to see this happen in real time, well, that's a real treat. Astronomers are easily amused. The light echo is caused by energy from the eruption interacting with dust surrounding the star. This dust was probably shed by the star a long time ago. The light photons are absorbed by the dust grains, which are on the order of tens to hundreds of nanometers in size and usually needle-shaped. The dust re-emits the photon in another random direction. The dust either came from eruptions of some type in its past or is left over from the nebula that gave birth to the stars. As the energy from this recent outburst moves through that dust, it lights it up for us to see and study. The echoed light reaches us later, in this case, months to years later than the original outburst light, because it had to travel extra distance to hit the dust and then bounce off it to eventually reach the Earth. V838 Mon is actually two stars, and both are believed to be massive B-type stars. They are hot, blue, and much bigger than our own sun. The reason for this peculiar outburst remains unclear. The most popular theory to date is that the star was going through a midlife crisis and rapidly aged very quickly, causing an outburst event. Another less popular theory is that it engulfed a few planets. That's not completely unheard of. Our own sun will envelop Mercury, Venus, and Earth when it gets old and turns into a red giant. There remain lots of questions about V838 Mon. In fact, right now, we don't really know that much about it. In fact, astronomers are holding entire conferences on this one star alone, and they're going to keep watching it. In October of 2006, the Hubble Space Telescope took a new image. So our friend Stuart Lowe of the Astronomy Blog put all the images together into a nice animation. We'll run it twice for you. Hope you like it. There we go. Gin. We're playing Go Fish. <laughs> 